You know, this movie was banned in certain jurisdictions because he thought it was too intense for the viewers, but it became kind of a cult classic to what they call the early 1970s hippie generation. Now, Vampire Circus is a 72 British horror film directed by Robert Young and starring Adrian Corey, Thorley Walters, and Anthony Higgins. It was written by Judge uh, Kleinberg and produced by Wilbur Stark and Michael Caress, who was, who was uncredited for Hammer. The story concerns a traveling circus, the vampiric artists of which prey on the children of a 19th century Serbian village. It was filmed at Pinewood Studios. Now, one evening during the small Serbian uh, village of uh, Stetel, early in the 19th century, schoolmaster Albert Muller witnesses his wife Anna taking a little girl, Jenny, into the castle of Count Mitterhaus, a reclusive noble rumored to be a vampire responsible for the disappearance of other children. The rumors proved true as Anna, who has become Mitterhaus's willing acolyte and mistress, gives Jenny to him to be drained of her blood. Men from the village, directed by Muller and including Jenny's father, Mr. Schilt, and the Burgermeister invade the castle and attack the Count. After the vampire kills several of them, Muller succeeds in driving a wooden stake through his heart. With his dying breath, Mitterhaus curses the villagers, vowing that their children will die to give him back his life. The angry villagers force Anna to run a gauntlet, but when her husband intervenes, she runs back in the castle, where the briefly revived Count tells her to find his cousin Emil at the Circus of the Night. After laying his body in the crypt, she escapes through a tunnel as the villagers blow up the castle with gunpowder and set fire to it. Now, 15 years later, Stettel is being ravaged by a plague and blockaded by the authorities of neighboring towns with men ready to shoot any villager who tries to leave. The citizens fear that the pestilence may be due to the Count's curse. <coughs> so the new physician, Dr. Kirsch, dismisses vampires as just a myth. A traveling circus calling itself the Circus of Night then arrives at the village, directed by a dwarf and alluring gypsy woman who were equivocal about how they got past the blockade. The villagers, appreciative of the distraction from their troubles, do not much question the matter. No one in the village suspects that one of the circus artists, Emil, is Count Mitterhaus's cousin and a vampire, as are the twin acrobats Henrik and Helga. Emil and the gypsy woman go to the ruins of the castle, where in the crypt they find the Count's stake body, still preserved, and he restate the curse that all who killed him and their children would die. Now, Wilsey's son Anton distracts the armed men at the blockade. Dr. Kirsch gets past them to appeal for help from the capital. At the circus of night, the villagers are amazed and delighted by the entertainment. Despite his wife's concern over the wayward daughter, Rosa, and her attraction to handsome Emil, the burgermeister takes her to the circus and, at the gypsy's woman's invitation, visits his hall of mirrors where he sees... In one called the Mirror of Life, a vision of the revived Count Mitterhaus, which causes him to collapse. Frightened by this event, Schilt tries to flee with his family from a blockade village, blockaded village with the circus dwarf Michael as their guide, only be abandoned by him in the forest and mauled to death by Emil, whose shape-shifting form is now a black panther. Muller's daughter Dora, who he sent away earlier for his protection, has slipped past the blockade and is returning to the village to reunite with her father and her beloved Anton when she discovered the Schultz dismembers bodies, arousing suspicions about the animals of the circus. That evening, John and Gustav Hauser, two village boys whose father helped to instigate the killing of Mitterhaus, are invited by the gypsy woman to enter the Hall of Mirrors and are magically drawn by Heinrich and Helga to the Count's crypt, where they are killed and drained of blood. After the boys' bodies are found near the castle, their grieving father and a sick burgermeister begin to shoot the circus animals. After an encounter with Emil, the burgermeister dies, uh, the burgermeister dies of a heart attack, and his daughter leaves with the vampire. The vampire then kills and drains her in the crypt. And this is all in 84 minutes. Now, Dor and Anton are lured by the twins into the Hall of Mirrors, where they try to whisk Dor through the mirror of life, but the cross she is wearing saves her. Later, the vampires enter the schoolhouse, where Dor and Anton have taken refuge. Emil, in panther form, kills the boarding students, diverting Anton, when, while the gypsy woman, revealed to be Anna Muller and the twins' mother, tears the cross from Dor's neck, enabling Heinrich and Helda to attack her. Dor, however, escapes into the school chapel. Now, where the twins are overwhelmed by June Cru giant crucifix, which she topples on them, destroying them. Nevertheless, with the help of the circus strongman, Emil and Anna succeed in having Dorn or Garrity and the house's wife Gerda kidnapped and taken to the crypt at Castle Mitterhaus, where they intend to use their blood, just like the blood from your previous child victims, as part of 
Again, houses weren't girded, kidnapped, and taken to the, the, the crypt of Castle Mitterhouse, where the attender used her blood, just like the blood from the previous child victims, as part of a ritual to restore the count back to life. Sorry about that. Meanwhile, Dr. Kirsch returns from the capital with an imperial escort and medicines for the plague. He also brings news of vampire killings in other villages, all of them visited by the Circus of Night. The men attack the circus and set fire to it, killing the strong man when he tries to stop them. As Hauer, Hauser starts to burn down the Hall of Mirrors, he sees in the Mirror of Life a vision of Mill and Anna, bleeding Goethe over the Count's body. This horrifying sight distracts him long enough to be burned fatally by the fire, but he lives long enough to alert Anton and the other men to Dora's plate. Now back in the castle equipped, the suddenly remorseful Anna is killed when she attempts to save Dora from Emil. Anton, finding his way through the tunnel into the crypt, despite a deadly ambush uh, by Michael the Dwarf, attempts to rescue Dora, but is halted by Emil. But just then, Muller, Dr. Kirsch, and a soldier bro- bro- break into the crypt and battle Emil, who kills or disables all his attackers. But Muller pe- pierces him with his stake from the Count's chest, just as he is dying from Emil's bite. Revived by the stake's removal, the Count rises from his sarcophagus and advances on Dora and Anton. Anton uses Muller's uh, crossbow as a makeshift cross, repelling the Count long enough for him to jam the vampire's neck between the weapon's bow and stock and then pull the trigger, decapitating him. As Dr. Kirsch leads Dora and Anton from the tomb, he and the villagers set the runes of fire with torches, ending the curse. But Dora and Anton see a bat fly out of the tomb in the night and are left uncertain. Set it up for a sequel. Now, a screenplay by Judge, uh, Judson Keenberg, story by George Bax and Wilbur Stark, uh, produced by Stark and Michael Carrars. Again, uh, Adrian Korn, Anthony Higgins, John Walter Brown, Lynn Frederick, Layla Ward, Robert Sachs, cinematography by Murray Moray Grant, edited by uh, Peter Musgrave, music by David Whitaker, distributed by Rank in 20th Century, and again, came out in April uh, uh, 72 in the UK and for Halloween in the US. Now, uh, Trita Cass, uh, Lawrence Bain, Adrian Corey, and Layla Ward would be reunited in the 80 season of the British sci-fi fantasy series Doctor Who in the serial The Leisure Hive. David Prowse, who later played Darth Vader in the first Star Wars trilogy, appears in a side role as a circus strongman. Robin Sachs played the part of Ethan Rain in Buffy the Vampire Slayer and as a space uh, conqueror Ceres in the science fiction comedy Galaxy Quest. Robin Sachs and Lynn Frederick also featured as lovers Thomas Culpepper and Catherine Howard in Henry and the Eight and the Six Wives in 73. In Stanley Kubrick's The Clockwork Orange, Corey had played the wife of writer F. Alexander, being ravaged by Alex and his droogs, who left her husband crippled to be shown later relying on the care of bodybuilder, again Julius, portrayed by Prowse. Now George Bax had Hammer paid just 1000 just for the title, and that was his only contribution. Now, production began on the 9th of August, 71. First time director Robert Young was unfamiliar with Hammer's tight production schedules and at one point used up some 500 feet of film stock while trying to get a tiger to sink his teeth into a fake human armed stuffed with pork. It finally bit after beef was substituted. When filming stretched from the schedule six weeks into seven, the production was shut down and the footage given to editor Peter Musgrave with instructions to make a finished film with what he had. Again, the film was filmed unfinished. That's how Hammer was. Now, Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an 80% approval rating based on reviews from five critics. All movie called the film one of the studio's most stylish, intelligent uh, projects. Now, critics of the time, the original uh, uh, release, uh, especially, I don't know, New York Times always hated Hammer. Their film reviewer, Howard Thompson, dismissed it outright, while even a courtesy of proper review in favor of its Hammer stablemate, Countess Dracula, with which it shared a double bill. His curt review measured two sentences. Wise horror fans will skip Vampire Circus, who he never really reviewed, and settled for Countess Dracula and the new double bill at the forum. Boulder Harbor Productions, England's Scream Factory, but the first was dealt a quick, careless anvil before continuing with Simi Praise for Countess Dracula. David Peary in the monthly uh, film Bolton praised the delicate fairy tale atmosphere established in the early going but lamented that it was only fittingly sustained as the plot succumbs to uh, forma. Well, it was a Dracula movie. But I think why a lot of people had a trouble with this movie, because it literally was vampires at a circus, usually a circus 
is known to be pro-children, and these are a bunch of blood-sucking vampires who prey on children, or initially. Now, another good review was the LA Times uh, calling the film a true chiller with lots of real-looking teeth, believable gore, and save for a very lurid ending, not for the kiddies. A lot of pace, a certain sense of subtlety, and a definite consistent style. Now, an updated novelization by Mark Morris of the movie was published in 2012. The film was initially adapted in a 15-page comic strip for a House of Hammer, Hammer, Volume 2, Number 17, drawn by Brian Boland from a script by Steve Parkhouse. But good luck trying to find this at the movie theaters in Canada in the early 1970s, because I don't know either if it was banned because of the emotional content of putting kids at risk or circus, but you did really see this lot in the movie theaters back in the day. I only saw it once in French, and I didn't see the full movie for what I saw. I got to give it three stars out of four. Very atmospheric and, you know, a great concept of everyone being a problem at the circus, not only the, the what they call the ringmaster, but the animals, the whole situation is pretty chilling. And putting children at risk involving vampires is very touchy because it comes in the same category as pedophilia because vampires are normally sexual for a lot of people. And you see this where they're preying on young children kind of pushes that envelope. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing with our Hammer 1970 Vintage Podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.